everyone, I am with Sheila Collins today at the La Lucia Baby House and um, it's actually very overwhelming to be here today and uh, very inspiring to meet somebody like you. So hi Sheila, hi. how are you? Sheila, what, well, what, do you, what do you do here basically? Um, here at the Baby House, this is um, just a section of our personal home. Uh, for the last three and a half years we have been licensed crisis care parents. We take in abandoned or orphaned babies. Um, these are babies that are found by the police um, or left in hospitals. Uh, they are into the system, so they have a social worker assigned to, the, to their case, and there's a court order placing them in our care. We keep the babies while they're waiting to be permanently placed or while the system looks for their family so that they can be placed back home. Okay, and how many babies do you have here at the moment? We have six babies at the moment. And the ages? Um, the ages range from 22 months okay. to six weeks. Okay. And how long have you been doing this job? We've been doing it, um, we opened in June of 2013, so about three and a half years. Okay, and um, uh, so can you just tell me a little bit of that, maybe one of the stories that, that touched you in the process or how you came about doing this? Because it takes a very special person and it take, it's a very life-changing um, thing that you've done here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, um, my, my philosophy is, you know, you've got one life to live and you, you, it's your responsibility to spend it, you know, the way you want to. You make those choices. I, I was just really compelled to do something that had really n nothing to do with me, but that would help others. Um, so I was just open and looking for, for what that thing was. Okay. Um, I was working full time, but I knew that as I was getting older that I would be needing to get out of that position and I was looking for what was next. How would I spend the next 20 years? Um, and I ran into Hola Baby Home in Durban North run by Kim and Leanne. Um, I was just completely inspired by them. I also spent some time in Berlin at Seneca Kale and met Ru okay. Ruth. Um, just completely um, just completely overwhelmed by what they were doing. You know, to me it was just so selfless and and amazing. And I wondered how how could I be similarly effective? you know, in transforming lives and creating space for, for vulnerable children. So when I, I met Kim and Leanne, their, um, their setup was much smaller and they made it feel like it was doable. I met them, I saw that they were incredibly ordinary people, um, they were doing the best they can with the space that they had. So I basically sat them down and said, how does this happen, how does it work, what are the highs and lows, um, tell me about it. And I was just completely inspired by them. So I started following the process of becoming licensed, knowing that one day I, I wanted to be able to do this. Wow. And uh, for people looking uh, for, your, well, for your home or this facility, where can they find you? Are you on social media or how do they contact you? Yes, we have a Facebook page. Okay. It's just the Lelouchia Baby House. Okay. Uh, we have a website and it's babyhouse.org.za. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, and then um, if people are looking, are watching this video right now, I know that you're also, um, you know, some of the, the babies, uh, we, were, uh, we were just looking at the babies just now, you know, uh, interacting with them, and the one threw up and you said that um, that baby in particular needed breast mm -hmm. milk, and you are running a, a different, uh, you know, um, help uh, sort of um, line uh, for these babies. Can you tell me a little bit about the breast milk uh, bank? It's the breast milk bank. Yes, I'd love to. Okay. Uh, we were given um, a couple of babies earlier this year. They were both premature babies. Um, one of them was brought to us in a, in a state of malnutrition. The other one was diagnosed as failure to thrive, um, which is really scary. Um, and what both babies needed was breast milk. And we had none. Neither of those uh, babies, uh, they were both prim, neither one could tolerate formula. Um, they weren't responding well. They needed breast milk they were, and, and we were desperate. So we phoned around and found um, a place that had a supply of breast milk and gave us some. Um, and they both came out of their crisis place after having breast milk. Some, you know, especially prim babies, 
they, they desperately need it. There's, there's not a formula that can match breast milk. And these poor abandoned babies, they don't have any other source to get it from if we don't find it for them. So after having those two children and watching these babies really on the edge of death um, and, and seeing the transformation after having breast milk for a while, then eventually they could wean back onto formula that we were fine, but their bodies weren't fully developed and breast milk was the only thing that brought them through that place. Um, I felt like I really needed to be able to provide breast milk for our, the young babies that come into our care. I also really have a, a big vision of being able to have enough to provide for all the crisis homes in the area. Um, we, were, we were chosen as um, a venue for a milk bank. Um, there were a, a friend of mine who's an expert in, in breastfeeding and breast milk and, and a friend who's designed the equipment um, was the head of engineering at one of our local universities. Um, they were given funding from the U.S. to plant milk banks in South Africa, and we were the first one that they planted. Okay. So they've provided us with the equipment that we use to pasteurize the milk. They, they provide us with the testing of the samples. They provide us with the jars that we can give to the moms. I mean, everything is given to us that we need to have a, a milk bank so that we can give our babies breast milk. The only thing we need are the moms. Yeah. Well, you know what, I, I've got uh, three daughters and when I was pregnant, I didn't know that something like this was around and I was talking to my friends and a lot of them, uh, personally I didn't have enough milk, but like, you know, a lot of my friends said that they were looking to do something like this and they were just dumping the milk. So uh, if a mom right now who is lactating um, would like to donate, how would she go about that? Um, People can contact me directly and I'll, I'll help you through the process. It's actually very simple. On our website, there is a tab that talks about the, the milk bank. You can download the application, which is a very short little questionnaire. Um, and then a uh, proof of an HIV screening is required. You can get it at a clinic. You can just get give us a copy of one you might already have. Okay. Or we also can give you the, t the instant test here at the baby house or we can come to your home and give you that test if, if you don't have a current one. Um, then we can take your, your milk, we can give you the bottles that you need and instructions on how to do it. Okay. And then other things uh, at the baby home, if somebody wants to reach out and help, if they don't have their milk, that is, what would you require for the babies? I, I see that you're quite, a, uh, you know, you're quite an organized <laughs> setup here, so you have a lot of things, but what are the necessities that you might be needing? I, I know the festive season's coming up, and. Um, I'm sure while everyone's uh, celebrating, it's probably a downtime for you guys because everyone's out <laughs> celebrating. So, you know, uh, supplies are probably low yeah. now. <laughs> Sorry, if I'm distracted, I keep on <laughs> looking at the baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the baby house never closes. We're always here. Um, yeah, on, also on our website, there is a, a list that I update regularly called okay. our needs list. Um, and then based on how donations come in and based on our on our stock that we have, I'll update that list. So there is a current list online um, that people can download. Um, there's also, you know, a lot of people who give small amounts by debit order to the okay. baby house account, um, which we'd love for people to be able to do. And that just gives us a, a bit of a firm foundation because we do have staff to pay for and utilities to pay for. Um, so that also helps us a lot if people want to just give 50 rands a month or something like that. So that form is also on our website. Um, and if you want to come and volunteer and give time, you call ahead um, and, and schedule visits. If you want to be a regular volunteer and come and come fairly regularly, a police clearance is required, but okay. that's simple and we have a simple way for you to be able to do that okay. as well. And, it's, and that's free. Um, but it's just one little extra step, if you, and that's just required by the Children's Act. Okay. Um, but uh, we, there's a lot of ways to get involved. You can, um, you can. Um, some people have had birthday parties, and rather than ask for gifts, yes. they yeah. put out our wish list. You can have a golf day. You can, um, you know, donate in a lot of different ways, small ways. And I think if everybody just that that is keen and sees us and and, and feels inspired to do mm -hmm. something. If everybody just does the little bit that they can, when you pour it all together, it actually keeps us alive here, you know. Um, people drop off secondhand clothing from their children and equipment. Everything you see here has been donated. 
all of our cots were, were donated and gifted. Oh. The other day, one of our, our, our big boy um, actually broke through the cot, uh -huh. and someone on, on my Facebook page came and actually repaired the cot, oh. and another person brought us a spare cot, so now we have a spare should it happen again someday oh. to one of the other cots. But it's just the community coming together. Not everybody can take a portion of their house and, and give full time to this. I understand that. And I don't expect everybody yeah. to do this, but um, I think you know if, pe if people are just inspired and want to do what they can. When you pour that all together, it makes a huge difference. And for each of these lives, you know, they're here for a short period of time and they go. And for some, I don't see them again. And they don't know me. They won't remember what I've done. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you, know, you know, I know I've made a difference, and everybody who's helped us has made a difference in that child's journey. And um, that's a really special thing. Well, it's, it's, it's been absolutely special uh, to be here this morning and I'd like to call out to anyone watching this, you know, um, if you're hesitant uh, and you're in the area, you know, stop by, come yes. and see what this facility is about. It's absolutely amazing. As a mom, it's just, it's making, it, it's heartbreaking and like making me broody at the same time, you know, for these babies. Um, I think it's incredible what you're doing. It takes a very special person to do what you have done and, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, I can't describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm trying to fight back tears. <laughs> so, um, guys, get involved. I will put all the, the details up to get hold of Sheila if you want to come and, and help out or just, you know, just come give a cuddle to a baby in need. You know, they are so cute. It's actually been so distracting looking at and not, you know, I've, I've had to try to focus on Sheila because the, the little ones here are just, you know, so, they, they're so lovely. And, um, as I said, it's a festive season now, you know, um, I've, I'm trying to instill in my kids at the moment, my eldest is seven and I'm trying to instill in her that, you know, she just had a birthday and I'm trying to um, convince her that every year she needs to give back from a you know, young age. And, you know, if, if you've got birthdays coming up or, or Christmas is coming, you know, maybe take an hour of your time or maybe check if you, if you can get a pack of nappies or, you know, something simple like that, but it, it will make such a huge difference. And you can actually come here and see, you know, what's being done. You know, nothing's being pocketed or something. There, there's no room for that here, you know. So uh, thank you, uh, Sheila, so much for your time. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks awesome. very much. Bye.